Smart Tempo implements three modes that govern how Logic automatically deals with both conforming or matching project tempo to audio tempo, beat mapping, and conforming audio to project tempo. Of course, you can also make manual adjustments and corrections to the automatic analysis and resulting bar and beat markers, but I'll get to that in later videos. First, let's just take a look at the basic applications of the three Smart Tempo modes. What Apple seems to be shooting for is that the user will be able to deal with freestyle, rubato, non-metronome-based performances, and the importing and editing of audio files originally recorded at different tempos, without having to really give the whole issue of matching tempo a lot of thought. Of course, in the real world, automated tasks seldom work that seamlessly all the time, but Smart Tempo is surprisingly effective in most situations where I've tried it so far, keeping disparate recordings in sync with very little need for manual intervention. So let's start with the modes. The three Smart Tempo modes are Keep Project Tempo, Adapt Project Tempo, and Automatic Mode. I'll explain each, and a couple of videos later, once the basic concepts have been covered, I'll get into more detail and play some examples of the modes in use. Keep Project Tempo Mode, or just Keep Mode, is the legacy mode of operation. With this mode selected, Logic behaves just as it did in previous versions in regard to tempo handling. So if you record an initial track, you'd normally play along with the metronome click, but if you record without a click reference, and you want the tempo to follow the timing of the recording, you'll have to beat map the track after the recording is done. You could do this with the older beat mapping tools, or by invoking a smart tempo operation after the fact, but Logic won't calculate the tempo map for you as you record, and imported audio files won't necessarily conform to tempo unless you enable flex time and turn that particular feature on. Adapt Project Tempo Mode, or Adapt Mode for short, will do both of those things. As a first audio track is recorded with Adapt Mode selected and the metronome off, Logic will calculate a matching tempo map that follows the timing of the performance as the recording is going down. As soon as it's finished, the new tempo map will be ready to go. Additionally, when an audio file is imported into a new project in Adapt Mode, Logic will analyze it and again automatically create a tempo map from its analysis of the tempo embedded in that audio file. Automatic tempo handling applies to region edits as well. More on that in a minute. Automatic Mode, Auto Mode, combines the functionality of the Keep and Adapt modes, switching between the two as required. It seems to basically function the same way as Adapt Mode, except when it comes to importing and region editing. For example, in Adapt Mode, if an audio region is moved or copied elsewhere in the arrangement, its embedded tempo map will follow it. This will happen if it's positioned in a section of the song that has no other regions, but it will also happen if it's moved to a location where there are regions and an existing tempo map. In the latter case, the existing tempo map will be changed, replaced by the new region's tempo map for the duration of that region. This will in turn alter the tempo of other regions in that section of the song, adapting them to the new tempo. You'll see the same behavior when importing audio. However, in auto mode, the importing and editing behavior is a little different. Once again, if an audio region is moved or copied elsewhere in the arrangement to a section of the song that has no other regions or tempo map, then that region's tempo will be applied at that section. But if the region is imported or moved to a section where there are regions and an existing tempo map, then the new region will instead conform to the existing tempo. That existing tempo will not be overridden, and the edited region, the moved region, will instead play in time with the existing material at that point in the arrangement. Color coding warns the user of what's about to happen in either case, as we'll see in a subsequent video, where I'll play some examples. In the best cases, it all works seamlessly, vastly simplifying tempo handling. But of course, the user has to understand the different behavior of the different modes, and be sure to use the correct mode at the correct time, depending on what kind of operation is being performed, recording, importing, editing, and the specifics of the project. I'll get into more detail on all this in an upcoming video, but first I want to briefly cover a related topic, the flex and follow function, and the smart tempo project settings. <laughs> 